Hello and welcome to Craft with Sarah. In this video, I'm showing you how to make this wedding truck layered paper craft project. This is a free SVG from my website and it's one of many free themed layered truck designs available. Let's find out where to get the design and then how to make it. You can download the free cutting file for this project at craftwithsarah.com forward slash free dash SVGs or follow the link in the description of this video to go straight to the download page. The download comes in a zip folder and you need to unzip this before you can upload the files into Cricut Design Space. Once you've downloaded and unzipped the folder, it's time to get the SVG file into Cricut Design Space. Open up Design Space and start a new project and then click Upload over on the left and then Upload Image. You can then either click Browse to find the files on your computer or drag and drop them in. Make sure you choose the unzipped version of the folder and then the file to select is the one which starts SVG in the file name. I'll click and drag that in and this is what it should look like with all of the pieces one on top of the other. If yours looks different and you see all the little bits next to each other instead, that means you've accidentally uploaded the wrong file type. So if that's the case, click cancel down here on the bottom and try again and make sure you choose the one which starts SVG. But this is looking good, so I'll click on upload. Once it appears under your recent uploads, click on it to get the green border around the edge and then press add to canvas. You can then see all of the pieces down here on the right hand side. This design does have quite a few similar colours in, which you can see if you click on the colour sync button on the top of the layers panel. For example, scrolling down, you can see we've got two pinks and also a pale red. And also we've got a white here, but if I scroll up a bit, you see there's this slight off white here. And the reason I've done them differently is because you can use two slightly different sheets of cardstock, colours of cardstock, and that will help the details show up better. I'm going to cut one of mine from a pure white card and one from some card I've got, which has got a slight pearly sheen on it, which I think is going to look really, really pretty and really enhance the wedding theme. I'll click the layers uh, little label again to switch this back. To resize the design, click on it and then make sure the padlock icon at the top of the width and the height box is closed. If yours is open, then click on it to close it. And that means you can set either the width or the height and the other measurement will change in proportion. For example, if I put 9.5 in here and press enter on my keyboard, you see the height also changed. When you're happy with how it's looking, press make it to connect to your Cricut machine. This is separated out all of the different colours onto different mats. And here again, you can see here are my two very slightly different uh, shades. You can change the paper size in here. I'm going to go for A4. And then you can click drag to move things about, which can be helpful for using up less space on your cardstock. You do need to change the paper size for every single colour. So you'll need to go through each one, get it looking exactly how you want, and then press continue. That will then connect to your Cricut machine so you can then follow the on-screen instructions to get everything cut out from cardstock. Here are my pieces of the wedding truck all cut out and I've led them one on top of the other so that you can uh, see all the colours and I can check I'm happy with everything. This design might be a little bit tricky for you to see me making because it's white on a white background but hopefully it will be alright. Okay, so I'm going to be sticking this together with a combination of glue and 3D foam squares. The glue I like to use is called Kalal, and the reason I like it is because it doesn't bend or wrinkle the cardstock like other glues can do. And I put it into these needle tip applicator bottles with really thin nozzles, which is going to make it really easy, especially for doing little tiny bits like the bunting on the front of the truck. I'm also going to add some dimension with some foam squares. These are the ones I'm using. They're quite small, which is again going to be helpful. But if yours are bigger, that's absolutely fine. You can cut them smaller with a pair of scissors if you need to. We need to start at the bottom and work our way upwards. So let's move some of these pieces apart. I'm going to try and keep them vaguely in the right order. And... 
let's just move that so I know I've got the colors right. <laughs> and then there's all the front bit of the truck, my heart. There are lots of little bits in this design. For my slight off-white on the design, I've cut it from some shimmery pearlescent card, which I think is giving a really nice touch. Not sure if you can see it too well. You can a little bit if I turn it into the lights. But I think that's just a really nice kind of wedding-y <laughs> touch to it. Okay. And then this bit is also done from kind of just off-white card with a little glossy sheen on it. Together, they work nicely because even though it's basically two bits of white, they're quite different, so you can still see all the details through. This is my first piece I'm going to stick on, and it's up to you whether you use glue or foam squares for this one. I'm going to use my foam squares. So I'm going to pop these around the edge making sure I've got some in all the teeny tiny pieces like the heart and the top of the truck. I'm sorry this is kind of hard to see. But you also want to make sure you have your foam squares in the middle of the piece of card because if you only put bits around the edge, you'll find that it will sag down in the middle because there's nothing to support it. And it will be quite heavy by the time it's got all the other pieces on top. So that's why we're putting bits in the middle as well as around the edge. Now that's done, I can peel the tops off of the foam squares to reveal all the stickiness underneath. Here's my base piece. I'm gonna line this up and then gently drop it down. And the reason for that is that if I hadn't quite lined it up right, I could pick it up and move it and it's not going to um, cause any damage, but that's looking pretty good. So I'll push down to seal. The next layer we've got is this one making up the solid part of the truck. And again, I will foam this bit. Once again, I'm going to line it up gently drop down and then push to seal. The next layer is this one which is a glue layer. Be careful when you're picking it up and moving it because it is a little bit fragile in some places where all the details have been taken out. I'm going to get my glue in all of these places to make sure it's got a really good stick on it. That was very narrow around that window. I'm glad I've got my needle tip applicator bottles. Okay. Stick that one on there. Oops. The nice thing about glue is if it's not quite right, you can wiggle it about to get it in place. Beautiful. Next is the bunting and I'm going to glue it. You could use your foam squares if you're feeling brave but these are very small and I'm not feeling brave. So I'm gonna glue mine on. And... Oh gosh. This is where I completely get everything stuck to my fingers. Dropping it. <laughs> Luckily, I don't think there's really a right way or a wrong way to stick them on. They're almost equal on every side. Now, how have I ended up with one too many? Maybe this one goes here. <laughs> I'm going to make it up. <laughs> if it doesn't, it, it does now. There we go. I think maybe that should have been that one because that looks a slightly different size, but I'm going to go with it. It's absolutely fine. Whilst I'm doing the tiny bits, let's foam square on the heart to the top of the cake. 
there. Next, we'll work up the back of the truck. This is quite a few pieces. This one, which is just making up those back bits, I will glue on. And I want to be kind of careful with the back of the truck that it doesn't end up too thick. Otherwise, the design won't look balanced against the front of the truck and it'll look a little bit off. So I think I'm going to limit it to just one foam square layer, which will be the flowers. So for the um, leaves, I'll glue these ones. Oop. <laughs> Throwing it all over the place now. There we go. And now for the solid bits of the flowers, I will foam those on and I'm totally going to cheat and put my foam squares directly on the truck because these flowers are very small. Okay. One. And then the big one on there. And then glue the pretty bits on top. Just make sure you don't put any glue right in the middle because that's the bit that's going to be showing. There's one. And two. And then next is the bottom layer of the little bumper. And I will use my foam squares on this one so it will pop out to be the same height as those little flowers. This is looking so pretty. If you like this truck design, check out my website because I have over 10, maybe even over 15 at this point, different trucks for all different occasions and seasons and all sorts. I'll glue this one on. Um, so just off the top of my head, there is a Valentine's Day truck, a autumn or fall truck, a winter truck, um, Easter, St. Patrick's Day. There is an empty truck for you to add your own sort of pictures in the back and a flower truck, um, a New Year's truck, a 4th of July truck. <laughs> um, that might be all of them. I've probably missed some. But yeah, lots of trucks. <laughs> I really love making them. So if you can think of any I haven't done yet, please do let me know and I'll try and get it done. That looks fine. It might not be entirely as the design was intended, but it'll, it'll do. All right, moving on to the front of the truck and the solid bit will be foamed on. So it's going to end up roughly the same height as this one. So it all looks nice and balanced. There. And then glue the bit on top that's got the um, little bit taken out of it to add the detail. I love the shine on this card. It's looking so pretty. Okay, next the hubcaps. And I will foam these. I want them to pop out a little bit. It doesn't matter which way around you put the little semicircle, but try and keep them the same on both wheels. Whichever way you do on the first one, do it the same on the second one so that they match. And then finally, I have my little flower to go on the door to look like it's been painted on just to make the truck extra wedding-y. Is that a word? And there we have it. Our layered wedding truck paper craft project is all finished. There's a little look at the layers so you can see all of them. The shine is so pretty. <laughs> And I'm really happy with how this turned out. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to make this cute little wedding truck. 
If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel for loads more cricket tutorials and free SVGs. Thank you for watching. Bye!